Here we are carrying out some light physical calculations and firstly we need the mass of sulfur in kilograms which is 25.5 kilograms then we can take the moles of sulfur sulfur moles is equal to the mass 25.5 kilograms and then we divide that by the molecular weight 32.065 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms per mole which is equal to 0.7952 kilomoles. So the reaction of sulfur, when coal is burned, we have S add O2, gives us SO2. So from this reaction, we have one mole of sulfur, gives us one mole of SO2. So if we burn 0.7952 kilomoles of sulfur, the moles of SO2 also equal 0.7952. So we can calculate the mass of SO2 now because we know the moles because it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So what we do is take the moles and multiply it by the molecular weight for the SO2 mass, which is equal to 0.7952 kilomoles multiplied by 64.066 grams per mole. What we get is 50.949 kilograms. So next we're considering the reaction of SO2 with rainwater. So what we have is SO2 add 2H2O and we get H2SO4. So we have one mole of SO2 gives us one mole of sulfuric acid. So we have a one to one molar ratio. So that tells me that the moles of H2SO4 are again 0.7952 kilomoles. So we can calculate the mass of H2SO4 based on this molar ratio we've established. So we have 0.7952 kilomoles multiplied by 98. 0.079 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms per mole. That's the molecular weight. We get 78 kilograms of H2SO4. So finally, what we can do is convert the kilograms to metric tons. So our kilograms becomes 0.078 tons. And so we can look at the mass percent of sulfur. So what we do is take 32 divided by 98 multiplied by 100. So the mass percent of sulfur is equal to 32.69. And in our given problem here, we have 25.5 kilograms divided by 78 kilograms multiplied by 100. And that gives us 32.69. So the mass percent of sulfur in sulfuric acid is 32.69%.